This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we give you. We'll get this done. How's it going everybody? This is Adam again with Adrenaline and Cycle coming at you with a video today. Uh, before we get too much talking about the unit I have in front of me here, let me go ahead and get you guys hit that like and subscribe. Again guys, I know I'm beating a dead horse here. We're getting a lot of views, just not getting a lot of subscribers. So we want to get over that 10,000 uh mark for subscribers we're really close we're over 9,000. so let's uh let's push it and get this video to get us over 10,000 subscribers all right back to the machine here that we have in front of us today we're going to tell you a little bit about um if you don't know this is a 2022 xmr defender um you know three seater and it's in the red and goldy color um if josh wants to zoom in here you know it's not real shiny it's almost like a matte uh, but it looks really good it's not like the old iron man x3s it's a definitely different tone a different shade um, and then they carry it through in the into the cage as well to match the color of the panels um, looks really good definitely i have my reservations seeing it on can am's website um, and that's one of the reasons i thought we really need to bring this video out um, we've done a, a max in this before, but we really wanted you guys to, you know, we've had questions about the color. And the color is way off on the computer generated stuff on BRP's site. But it looks really good. This customer wanted some accessories. He wanted some things that you can't typically find um, on a Defender. But uh, some of the stock options you have here, starting on the front, you obviously got a pull plate down low here, where on a traditional um, Defender you would have a winch located down there. But being the XMR, the mud version, BRP put this nice bumper on here as well as a 4,500 pound synthetic rope winch. Nice billet fair lead. And that does a couple things. I always like the winch up high, as high as I can get it in the machine just to help keep the mud and crud off of it. So it helps with the longevity of your winch because they're not cheap. So, you know, if you can get it up higher, the better. As well as, you know, if you are in a mud hole, you're not digging down here, you're up here typically. I mean, you can go as deep as you want in these things, but you know, up here, you, you got a little less mud and, and stuff to deal with. You can unhook it, pull it out, and do what you need to, um, and work it from the inside of the cab on a rocker switch. Another cool thing about the XMR is you get these signature lights, and that's as well on the, like the limited models. You'll have that. Uh, let me turn the lights on so you guys can see that, see how they light up. So it looks really cool. That's high beam, low beam, and then off. Um, and another cool feature about them signature lights is if you do a turn signal kit on these, uh, we use Corbin Custom Kits. They will integrate to where these will blink as your turn signal. So that's a really, really cool feature and uh, looks really good, you know, when you're wanting to street legal your machine. Moving on back, you'll see the XMR has, you know, the longer A arms and definitely an arch on them so you get more ground clearance. And it just uh, works better if you're going through some ruts and mud and things like that. That arch and that extra ground clearance really makes it uh, nice so you're not beating the bottom out of your machine. And uh, really helps the longevity of your machine overall. Um, and you can see we did take the tires off. Typically these come with a 30 inch cryptid. Um, on this machine the customer opt for a 32. Ten, I think it's a 32. Let me check. Yeah, it is a 32 10, 14, uh carnivore tire. Um, works really well. Um, that's what comes on the X3s, on the XRS models. So it, it'll do the job perfect. It'll give uh, good uh, characteristics on the trail, good grip out on the trail, and still perform fairly good in the mud, which, you know, I don't think this customer is going to be a mud bogging guy, but he's definitely going to use it to work and, and play and, and trail ride and things like that. Um, you'll notice some other features we have on here. Uh, we have the BRP flip windshield, which is really, really nice to have, especially in the, the states that are hot. So you can open it up to get a bunch of ventilation. You can pull it down and it'll, it'll set at a set spot here. So you get just a little bit of ventilation, you know, so you got like two, three inches there. So you can get a a little bit of a breeze but yet still keep like the dust and the mud and stuff off of you or you can close it all the way down like your traditional windshield and it works great doing that as well some other things we put on here a uh, customer wanted some mirrors so you'd be able to see behind them you know these are our go-to mirrors that they've been you know really good for the last you know six seven years and these are the seismic pursuits 
lifetime warranty. They work on this track um, style cage, so they'll lock in. They call it the Pro Fit mount. Uh, works really good. They'll they'll work on like Rangers and and other models. They'll work on uh, the Can Am, uh, Commander, Maverick, uh, Trail and Sport. It'll work on those as well. So. Um, the lifetime warranty is where I'm sold at on these mirrors, guys. They're, they're metal, they're not plastic, um, and they're just tough as nails. They work out really, really good. Uh, back here on the front, the customer wanted a little extra lighting. I do know the defenders do lack in that area. Um, there are a couple options. You can update, upgrade your headlights, and this customer really did want to go with just a nice light bar. This is a Rough Country, I believe it's a 50-inch light bar with the... Uh, rough country mounts they mount to the cage really nice set in there really good doesn't affect with the windshield in any way or anyhow uh, one thing we did note on this guys if you buy this light bar and you can follow the instructions you can do whatever you want the only thing we noticed was we wanted to pull it down and try to keep it as level with the top um, with the instructions it wanted you to pull it way up high and then thus it'd be way up here if you're trail riding and you're going under limbs and stuff, you don't want it hanging three inches higher than what it needs to be. So we just, you know, kind of eyeballed it, the tech did, pulled it down, and, you know, we just mounted it that away. It's not going to affect anything other than, you know, it's not going to get tore off by a limb or a tree up high. I mean, it still could happen, but we've eliminated some of the possibility um, with that. But that's just a little trick we've done there for the customer, just, again, to, you know, get your money's worth and just have something that's not going to be damaged or broken. Um, we'll go on into the inside now. now. We'll talk about the doors. You've seen this in other videos. The rival doors are really, really good. Um, we've had good success with these, and I mean, they're just a stout door. We've had customers um, never have a complaint on them yet, so that's really good. Uh, they open good, they shut good, they, they do their job. They got the nice built in pad, works out really well. Got the little blue limit strap on there to keep it from flinging all the way back into your bed and things like that. So it works out really well, shuts really good. You know, just an all around good door for really a good deal. Um, so on the inside here, it's pretty traditional. Um, we didn't go crazy. You know, some of the highlights is, you know, you got the dash pad here. So you can go through the modes on the dash. You can go to menu. And you can select different things. You can select your drive mode, eco, sport, work, whatever you want to do there. You can reset your trips. Also, your smart lock diff in this machine. So you can pick trail or mud. And then you can go on the full lock if you choose to do that. And swap that around. And it all reads here in the dash. So you can see that. Um, as well as the diff lock in the rear, which is pretty cool. It allows you to unlock and lock the rear diff if you choose to do that so you don't tear up your yard if you don't want to. Over here is your headlight switch, your winch switch, and then the light bar switch on top. And we got the cover on right now so you can't really see it, but the cover just slides off the side really nice and neat, but we like the look. Um, it does have the park brake lock here, so when you push the pedal all the way down, it'll lock in. And then just to release it, you just pull up. So that's a nice feature if you're parking on the hills and things like that. Um, traditional defenders, the seats lift up in the middle on the passenger. The driver's side slides forward and back. Super nice console. And one thing you might be noticing here in the video, and I'm getting to that, is the harnesses in this. Um, we went with 2-inch PRP. Obviously, we haven't had them adjusted for the customer. We'll help them do that when they get here. But uh, we went with PRP auto latch harnesses in the red to give it a little accent. The best thing about the auto latch, guys, is it's like a car latch, um, and they work really well. You don't have to be um, really experienced with harnesses. This just makes it super easy. They clip together, and then they just unclip like your car. Um, super easy for you know people to use if you're wearing a seatbelt in a car. You can function that. It um, does take a little bit to get set up just based on your height. You want to get the pads where they need to be and things like that. But other than that, uh, we do make our own custom mount for these. Um, and we put them on a couple. We really don't sell them online because we just don't know how big a, a need or want is for that. Uh, if you guys comment down below, let us know if this is something you think you'd want for your Defender. I'm trying to think how... Pull that seat loose, Josh. See if it'll come out here. You gotta go up now or pull out, up. And you can see how it's mounted there. It's mounted to the cage and two points. Uh, two bolts up here with 
crush sleeves in between in the tube so it can't crimp down. Same way down here, got a crush tube in this tube so it can't crimp down. So you've got all this holding you in with your harnesses. So that's a really good setup. We've, like I said, we've run it on a couple defenders, a couple of good friends of ours have these and they work out really good. But if you want to see this product, come to the website or eBay or Amazon, just let us know down below because they do work really well and they've been tested and I believe it's 3 16th um, steel powder coated so it's not going anywhere. It's way thicker than the X3 harness mount that holds them in. So uh, we went overkill with that. Moving on down <coughs> towards the back of the machine. Um, we'll have Josh show you the rock sliders on this. I don't know why they didn't go red on this. Would have been killer, but they did go black and these are standard on the Defender XMR. Um, you know, I don't know. Red with that would have been killer. Helped to add a little more accents, but it is what it is. But they work out really good. Um, the XMR Defenders I've been around, it does help protect these rocker panels down there, especially low by the door. It does do a good job. Uh, another feature on XMR is you do get these fender flares on the front and back. Um, they're, I guess they call them the sport flare in the accessory catalog. So you can buy these and add them to your regular Defender, your DPS, your XT or whatever. Um, and then they got a wider version that's not called the Sport, it's just a Fender Flare. And it's probably about, a, uh, I'd say an inch and a half, maybe two inches wider. Um, they do provide more coverage, but driving this thing around in the woods, it, it can become, you know, something a tree can get and tear off or, you know, just make it not, not as functional when you get really too wide on them. Again, we got the 32 inch carnivores. Uh, they work out really well, guys. Like I said, we've run these tires for years and years and years, and they do a really good job in our terrain. Um, it's hard pressed to find something that'll um, do all you want it to and still be fairly, you know, even a good tire as it gets wear. It takes plugs really well, um, but it's a really good tire. I, I really don't have no complaints on it other than it's just a, a soft tire, but it does good. It takes a plug good, like I said. On the bed of these, if you don't know, the Defenders do have the tilt bed and the XMR does too. Uh, I'm just being easy with it because we got the parts we took off in the bed and I don't want to clanging around. But Josh can show you in there. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, these models maintenance is, is pretty easy. Um, they do have a pin, a quick release pin on the bed. So really you can lift it on up out of your way and get down in there and um, you know, do your oil change. You can see the coolant level really easy. Your air filters over there really easy to get to. Um, so that's some stuff that's really just right there, you know, quick access to check out and do. Um, the belts on this side, really easy to get all your belt bolts out and change a belt. Uh, again, straightforward type stuff, works out really well. They did add some more heat shielding and stuff like that from previous models. So if you have an older one and you was concerned about heat, uh, the newer ones that have addressed that and put more heat shielding on here and even around the exhaust, they did change some of the muffler um on that too i th i don't know what they've done but they said it's more flow so it, it creates less back pressure heat things like that. all that technical stuff they like to tell you and basically they just probably removed some baffling to make it flow better but uh the bed hold a thousand pounds like i said uh, tailgate's really nice on these holds 250 pounds um this is just the stuff we took out uh, we let the customer decide if he wants to keep it or we just throw it away basically um, but the, the bed tailgate's really nice. Like I said, you can fit a full-size pallet in here if you got like a tractor at the house, stuff like that. It'll hold a thousand pounds. Um, works out really well. Or if you're backed up to the, you know, the pond and you and somebody want to sit on the back of this, you can. Uh, it's got a little cup holder here, but that ain't going to hold nothing. But it does have, you know, you know, some good features here. You know, really strong, holds up really well. Um, I mean, we sell a lot of Defenders and we don't really have any issues with you know like people breaking stuff on the tailgates breaking stuff on the beds um, you know i know you see on facebook a lot of times horror stories oh my bed fell off this and that the reason their bed fell off is because they've backed into a tree and broke the brackets if you don't do that your bed don't fall off i will be honest uh, there are like plastic brackets that hold the bed on but if you don't hit something, you don't have an issue with them. Um, there's aftermarket companies that will sell you metal ones and this and that. But like I said, as many as we've sold, we've not seen one come back with a bed laying off of it. So, I mean, it's not that common. And the reason it happens is they just hit something and it breaks them out. So just keep that in mind. If you see somebody talking about a horror story, it's not that huge of an issue. 
um, but I have seen it on Facebook and people talk about that in the past. That's about it on this model, guys. Obviously, we got the snorkels because this is the XMR, and just all in all, a great machine. Uh, you know, the color scheme this year, like I said, if you're looking at it online, it looks 10 times better in person. So just take that a note. If you can get to a dealer, they're still hard to get. They're still hard to see. They're still hard to find. Um, this customer had a deposit for a couple months. You know, it showed up. We called him, you know, got him squared away. So it does take time to get to see these. That's why we're bringing these videos to you like this so you can see that. But as always, guys, remember, be safe in the woods, ride safe, wear your seatbelt, wear your harnesses, things like that. You know, don't do anything that you're not capable with, you know, driving wise on big hills and, and taking chances you don't need to take. And as always, hit that like and subscribe down below. It really does help us out. This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we'll get this done.